Hi Aquarius, this is Just with your January 13, 2020 weekly reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. Aquarius, uh, for those of you who would like your yearly tarot reading for 2020 is in the description box below. Check it out. Um, also, we're going to extend the love reading after this video and I'm going to look deep, deep into this love situation with you and this other person. Also, you Aquarius singles. So if you're interested, click the description box. It ex explains all that we look into. If you're interested in, in that at the end of this video, Aquarius, are you fighting over house matters? home situations, assets, property. Uh, looks like some of you may be in a conundrum or in a challenging position with someone. It may get pretty vicious, including you. Um, so be careful with that. I do feel like something said or done may be irreversible, right? So be careful um, if you lash out. It could go vice versa. Someone may lash out at you and it may be difficult for there to be forgive and forget um, opportunities down the line. I do see new uh, careers, not careers, I'm sorry, new um, apartments, new homes, um, starting something new in the home. So I mean, you may start to work from home. And if you are, you're a bit nervous about that. You really don't know if it's the best thing for you. Maybe because you're someone who likes to kind of, you could be an extrovert. And so you like to be out and about and part of the action. And you may feel like, you know, this is not exactly going to work out for me. So you may be, you know, taking a little bit of a gamble and just trying to see where is it going to go? How is it going to work? I'm not really sure, you know, um, but you, you may be willing to do it just to kind of increase your revenue um, if you can. Now, there may be new opportunities for you to move or get a new property or make some renovations in your home, but you are stressed out about it. Uh, you may not feel like you've met the right contractors or you can trust the right people. You have, may have had a disastrous experience in the past with a living situation um, and you've had to fight your way to get out of it. And now it's like, you know, you don't feel very comfortable with something completely new or trusting people. I feel like this week you're coming in trying to move forward, accepting what is, right? But not still at the same time not being really sure about where you're going to land when it comes to career. Kind of like a Sagittarius reading where your biggest worry, I feel what is kind of the sticking point for you Aquarius is, is career matters, the long end game, right? And for some of you, money may be a little bit difficult. You may find yourself like your rent has gone up, your mortgage is high, maybe the property taxes has, has increased. There's something about money matters when it comes to home life that has increased and it does a bit have you worried. If it if it isn't physically those things, it could be you're fighting with someone that shares some form of asset with you that now you may have to, you know, come up with extra money and that may be a bit difficult, especially if someone left the home and now it's like you're responsible for the whole amount. It's, it could be something like that. So for some of you, this is not knowing where you stand when it comes to long, long, um, long term when it comes to career. Uh, you are looking at where you stand, right? And some of you've either not communicated something with a particular person that you need to. You've been keeping it a secret. I feel if you have someone like if you have a roommate situation, some of you may need to ask for money from someone, but you're not sure if you should or if you can. Some of you, you may need to increase or you may like anything. Everyone is different. There could be something that you're not really addressing that you need to kind of address uh, with a particular person. And you're just not really sure how it's all going to work out. And it could have something to do with money. You may want to raise at your job and you're just not sure, especially if you, you think that they're going to be laying people off. So it's like, damn it, I should have asked for a raise last year. So it's like there's something about career matters that you're not really sure about. You may even try to get a little bit of clarity um, to kind of understand, you know, is this the right place? You may have two opportunities coming your way down the line. And it's like, I'm not sure which one I should take that is going to be long lasting. Because some of you just guys just want to get someplace and get settled. Um, and there's a huge message with your yearly for this year. Something that really is going to make a difference for some of you Aquariuses out there. Now, this is not, that's not a push to say, go get it. It's just, um... There's a lot that's to unpack with your year. So only if you're interested, please don't don't think it as, oh, she wants us to get. No, no, this is all up to you if you want to do that. 
so anyway, that being said, I feel like some of you will be a little bit down coming up this week. You may feel like um, you may be looking at your losses more than your gains, right? And that may, and it almost is reminiscent of a Sagittarius reading. So if some of you have Sagittarius in your chart, this definitely will echo those sentiments because there's a loss and then there's like a not being clear because um, it's like a loss of things of past and then not really knowing what your next steps are going to be. But unlike, and, and with Sagittarius, I've seen the same thing, but it's just going to be taking a different um, turn. You get clear. You come out of it. Money may come to you. Some of you, it could be your taxes. It could be anything. And it's like money comes to you now and it's like, okay, I'm fine. I'm good. You know, um, so expect your, you know, stresses to be short-lived. You even may get a settlement when it comes to property matters, right? You may be worrying about selling your property. It does come through. Um, if you've been waiting on monies to come to you, it will come to you. So there really isn't a whole lot for you to worry about, but some of you will still be nonetheless worried. You may work up the courage to ask this person or to confront someone in your home life about money matters and you are thinking negative, but again, nothing to worry about. It all kind of works out in the end. You, some of you are karmically destined to start a new job, new career, move in a whole new place. It's something about obligations and responsibilities that are going to change drastically for some of you Aquariuses. Um, you don't see it coming. Now you being an Aquarius Taurus sits on your fourth house, I believe. Yeah, fourth house. So some of you are moving. It's going to happen. You may have already moved. Get, don't get comfortable. <laughs> Maybe in another couple of years, you're going to move again. But yeah, there is definitely going to be some form of a movement or something relating to property matters, home life, could also be relationships and, and um, obligations, responsibilities. That is going to work. You also may find it um, possible to gain loans, banking situations, that sort of thing. Don't take what I'm saying as gold. You should know what your credit score is. You should know what your possibilities of, of gaining some form of a loan would be. I do feel like if some of you are trying to work on your credit score, work on your financial aspect, you can. Um, you need to do a little bit of legwork. You'll be surprised at what you can find out there on the, the web, on the net. So look up, do some research, strategize and see how can you make things work for you? Because once you kind of pull the the um, once you kind of take the blinders off, you will see that, oh, I can fix this. Oh, I, this is. Oh, yeah. Once you just have the conversation, take the blinders off, do a little research, reach out to someone. You'll realize really quickly, oh, this is fixable. Oh, I can work this out. So that being said, love. Uh, Aquarius singles in this love situation, someone is trying to, um, some of you, I feel you are, you're trying to run away from love. You, you, you act like you don't want any parts of it. You probably don't want to kind of resolve a situation with someone. Um, and you're adamant about that or vice versa. You may be trying to communicate with someone who's adamant about it on your, on their end. Um, it's inevitable. <laughs> Some of you, I feel that you are starting to feel the effects of not having someone in your life. Um, it will kind of culminate throughout the week and you will get to a point of, of realizing that, you know, and accepting that you're single. OK, I'm single and that's fine. And you may really start to focus on your finances and your career, that sort of thing. Also, um home life, just really fixing up your home or starting a new business, like you're going to be focusing on that more than love, even though you kept, uh, I'm sorry, Aquarius men will start to feel deep effects of emotional ties with a particular person. Kind of not being honest, you may not communicate this to the person or you may be acting one way when you know you care for this person, you know you still have feelings for them, but you're acting as if you don't, when you can't stop thinking about this person. Um, and there may have been some hurt words exchanged, that sort of thing, because someone was a little bit scared of commitment um, and took it out of context of what the other person said. And now it's going to be hard to, for there to be just a makeup and a um, I'm sorry. 
And some of you, when you met this person, you may not have been completely ready uh, because there was still some residual energy from someone from the past. And some of you are thinking about possibly going back to someone or someone you. Um, but I feel like if you are thinking about going back because, you know, these emotions are creeping up and really you want a commitment, you really do. Um, and you've been kind of calling that in. You may opt out and say, you know what? No. I, you know, I'm okay. You know, I, I'm thinking about them, but at least I'm not heartbroken. I think I need to just keep the peace and, and stay away. And some of you are going to do just that. Now you couple Aquariuses, there was a big fight mm -hmm. that could have resulted in a breakup, but it's almost like now we're making up. Someone definitely is trying after there's been some really nasty things said, nasty. Uh, someone is being nicer, sweeter, more, um, affectionate toward you you don't know how this is going to go you've been trying to accept the reality that you guys are no longer and that you know you do still want your marriage you do still want this relationship um but you know this person is coming in now and they're being nicer it may be difficult to forgive them you know it really may be even though they're going to try their best to appeal to your softer side um, I, and you, you're going to, you're going to want to, some of you, or this person really wants to come out of the cold from you because now they miss you. Now they have regrets, right? But some of you just may say, no, I feel better single because I, you know, there's some immaturity here and I don't know when you're going to change on me again. Like th there's that is what I'm saying, but definitely an opportunity to reconcile if this is something that you guys who couple Aquariuses are looking to do. They, have, they even just may be on a mundane sense of dis distance between the two of you and you and your mate. And it's now pending divorce or separation or breakup. It's just a distance. And if that's the case, it's a waiting a little bit longer to kind of reunite. It's going to take a little longer than you've anticipated. And at times, because of this, this separation and the distance between the two of you may have gotten the best of, of someone, there could have been an argument, okay? Um, but I feel that, you know, you guys definitely can work things out. And someone is kind of becoming a little bit more accepting of, of this relationship that it's built on independence, right? We're together very much together and committed to one another, but we kind of exist independently of each other, from each other, because we live in different places, even though we're married or even though we are committed. It's that type of thing. Um, and someone's becoming a little bit more appreciative and accepting in that role, if that makes any sense. Uh, but for others of you, there is this, you know, not necessarily accepting someone back, even though they're coming back and they definitely want to work on this relationship. And it's been hard for you to kind of just <sighs> deal with it. It's hard, but nonetheless, they will try. Now, in the extended, we're going to look deeper into this and find out if things are going to work out with you guys. Will you have a change of mind? Will things work out in the end? Not just this week, but down the line, months to come, if you're interested in that. We're also looking at your Aquarius singles as well, see what's going on in your love life. Will you change the page and turn the corner and will you start to head toward love? Um, we'll see in the extended. So again, if you're interested in that, click the link to the extended and we can get started on that uh i would love to hear from you so if you'd like to share please just on the comment section below if you want something personal with me click the link to my website to set something up for yourself and if you're new to this channel welcome and subscribe because i will be back very soon with another one take care aquarius